May the gentle souls of our departed compatriots rest in perfect peace. Amen. A minute silence in honor of victims of the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo. The deeply worried senators wear long faces. They say killings and violent crimes must be halted urgently. They fear that such an attack in places of worship could lead to inter-religious conflicts and ethnic wars in Nigeria. That the attack on St. Francis Catholic Church in Ongo led to the killing of 40 worshippers and about 80 worshippers suffered varying degrees of fatal injuries. Senator Father notes that the attackers deployed dynamite and heinously massacred aged persons, women, and children at St. Francis Catholic Church in Ongo. In another development, the Senate's chief whip. Senator Oji Uzo Kalu says religion should not be a major requirement in deciding who becomes the running mate to the presidential flag bearer of the APC. The Abia North senator insists elections are about numbers and not the faith of candidates. If I am in a volatile situation, the wife is a senior pastor in a Pentecostal church, I will go Muslim Muslim ticket. The most important thing is for the party to win. June 6th was a significant day for supporters of APC presidential candidate Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu as he clinched the presidential ticket for the party. It was an anticipated victory for political groups like this and they are rolling out the drums to celebrate it. However, victory at the primaries does not guarantee successful outing at the general elections. It is why this group is stepping up its campaigns and consolidating on its mission to rally Nigerians behind their candidates. And one of the ways to achieve this is to support the less privileged in the society, providing scholarships for indigent students and empowering youths to alleviate economic hardship. So far, the organization has, through a number of interventions, successfully trained 500 youths in various skills and giving them 100,000 naira each to start up businesses. Currently, they are providing scholarships for 100 underprivileged students under the Bola Tinubu Education Support Program. The organization is hoping to consolidate on these achievements in the years to come. This will be the longest campaign uh, Nigeria could ever emerge because if you can see, it's eight months to election and uh, already candidates have emerged. So we in BTSO we believe we have a longer way to go. But this is a journey we started three years ago and we believe the next eight months will not be healthy for us. We shall conquer, inshallah. Development. That is why some of us are convinced that he has the right experience and pedigree to lead our nation to deserve destination come 2023. The group also says that they are strengthening their grassroots mobilization to ensure they reach out to those who need. Nigeria has the highest number of adult school children in the world. This is according to a UNICEF report, which estimates that over 10 million Nigerian children fall within this category, a number which is more than the population of Republic of Togo and Liberia. Later statistics also indicate that 17% of Nigerian children who are in school are not learning. This many experts attribute to the high number of low-cost schools in the country. Unfortunately, many Nigerian children also learn under unconducive and harsh conditions. Comprehension in schools that is making the children not to stay in school. Because if I go to school today, I can't understand what they are saying. Tomorrow I go one week, two weeks, one month, two months I'm going. I will get discouraged. And the next thing is I will... Go and look for an alternative. Here are those conference of Association for Formidable Education Development. Speakers believe to change the narrative, governments and educationists must make deliberate efforts to support low-cost schools and make education interesting so that pupils get the best of education. For government to have a tentative policy that will support low-cost private schools because it's been seen as a solution. This is working in Kenya. It's working even in Ghana. It's working in Nigeria here. In Lagos, for instance, over 8,000 local schools are recognized by Lagos state government and given special status. 